Hey guys, this is Zara for Trans Youth, of course. Um, this week's topic is going to be about top surgery. Now, for trans people, for many trans people, not for every trans person, top surgery is a very important thing, I'd say. It's more prominent amongst trans men, because they, of course, would have the, um, the breasts that they would have developed naturally. And them being men, they don't want to have that. But then, when you're a trans woman, you will grow breasts as you are on the HRT. Like, what I have here is all from the HRT. Um, and whether or not you get top surgery depends on how happy you are with the results of that. So I suppose in my own case, do I want top surgery? Do I not want top surgery? That's a question I've been asking myself for a number of years. I think if I were to end up not getting top surgery, I'd be able, I'd be okay with that. It's not something that I get, um, like, super pissed about or anything. That said, I would like them to be bigger. Like, I think what I have is maybe a B. Um, and I would certainly like bigger breasts, but, you know... That's something that a lot of cis girls want as well. That's not just happening to me because I'm a trans woman. Um, yeah, and, you know, it's all about being comfortable with who you are. As I say in a lot of my videos, just get to a point where you're happy with yourself. Whether or not you need to have top surgery, bottom surgery, in my case a nose job, to, to reach that point. That's the main goal for all of us, I think. Um, yeah, and so in my case, I know that's going to involve SRS, and I know that's going to involve get me getting a nose job. As far as top surgery goes, that would probably be more of a question of money than anything. If I had like an unlimited amount of money, sure, I'd go get top surgery right now. Um, but if the, but if it ne never ends up happening, whether or not I am not able to afford it or whether or not other variables factor in and I never end up getting top surgery, I think I'd be okay. I'd always be a little bit annoyed that they aren't bigger. Um, but you know, that's life. I don't know. We all want to look a certain way. And we're all self-conscious. That's, I'm sure, I mean, everybody on earth is self-conscious about something. But us as trans people, we focus on it a lot more, I think, than the regular person does. And we, of course, change ourselves much more than the average person does. So... So whereas, I suppose many cis people would look at something like, like getting a boob job, or getting breast reduction if you're a trans man, or, or changing your nose if you don't like your nose, um, I don't know, they kind of see it as, I don't know what else, what other way to put it, but like, maybe taking the easy way out, because... Like, when I've been telling people that I'm going to get a nose job, 99% of people, I'm not even kidding, like, 99% of people are like, oh, no, don't do that. You're fine the way you are. Just learn to, you know, live with it. But I don't like my nose. Um, and I want to be happy with who I am. I don't think I will really be happy with who I am until that's been fixed. And, of course, the SRS... And that's the other thing. Nobody's saying any such thing when I mention SRS. They're not saying, oh, just live with what you have. You know, live with a part that doesn't fit on your body. <laughs> um, but it doesn't work with that one because, I mean, that's a major thing. Um, yeah. So, you know... I say a, lo a lot of similar things in my videos, but it's it, it's really what it comes down to is if you're happy with who you are and you didn't need to have um, a boob job to get there, 
or a breast reduction, then you probably don't need it. But, you know, if you don't think you can be happy with who you are until you've got those big tits, or until they're gone for a trans men, then, then go for it, by all means. <sighs> yeah. Um, so in my case, it prob if it does end up happening like that, it probably won't be in the near future. Because um, I've got to focus on some other things before I can focus on things like that, but... But it might end up happening down the road, I mean... I mean, I am relatively happy with who I am. With the person I am. I'm extremely happy, but... Appearance-wise... I'm mostly happy. I think I'm okay. I gotta fix the nose, I gotta have the SRS, but... I'm on the fence about the boob job. I'm sure I'll meet a guy eventually, and he'll really want me to get a boob job, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see how things are when that happens. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's not like they're super tiny, what I have is, I think, a B, so, so they're there, and they're not a bad size. I mean, there are definitely cis girls that have smaller tits than I do, and it's like, you know, that's just how things happen, it's genetics. And if you're a trans woman, you'll probably know that the general rule of thumb for how large your breasts will be is to look at the other women in your family and kind of um, take how big theirs are generally and subtract a cup size. Now, I think my, my sisters and my mom, I think, are all on the larger side, which makes the that rule of thumb not really work for me because I probably would have been at least, I don't know, bigger than I am if that was the rule of thumb. But, whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I think I've said what I need to say about the topic. If you need it, go for it. If you don't need it, don't worry about it. Be happy with you. All right. Um, so this is Zara for Trans Youth, of course. Um, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. Yeah. And alright, I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Hello and welcome to Trans Youth Channel. This is Tuesdays with Adam. And this week's topic is top surgery. This is a very exciting topic for me because I'm having top surgery on June 5th.